in an era where generative AI is not just a technological advancement, but a paradigm shift, the landscape of digital transformation is undergoing unprecedented changes. I'm here in Hanoi, Vietnam, discovering the enormous capabilities, talent, and vast experience in technology and also on business transformation that companies like FPT offer. Today is our privilege to navigate this complex yet invigorating landscape with a global expert on digital transformation. Mr. Tuan, please tell us about yourselves. Yeah. So uh, my name is uh, Tuan Phan. I'm uh, the CEO of uh, FPT Software, a company uh, with 30,000 engineers operating in 30 countries in the world. And uh, I joined uh, FPT uh, 27 years ago as a developer. And FPT is uh, my first love and only love so far. So uh, my mission nowadays is to transform uh, FPT software to become a global company and uh, accompany our customer to the digital future. That sounds amazing. And during these days here in Hanoi, I was learning a lot about the experience that FPT had and your personal experience also. You mentioned more than 20 years in Japan as an example. Yeah. And, and FTD now is in almost 30 countries in the world, yeah. offering all the services that we are going to talk now also. But just to start yeah. with the question and say, what's FPT, what is FPT approach to digital transformation and digital maturity? And how do you customize your solutions accordingly? So uh, according to the recent uh, report, only 19% of company having the progress on digital transformation. So that's uh, depend on the digital maturities. So we uh, approach the customer for transformation in three dimensions. So the ultimate goal for transformation is business transformation. So expect the outcome or the new outcome for the business. So technology transformation is like an enabler. So bring the latest technologies so that they can support business to create more value for the enterprise, for the customer. The third mention is a very important is a, a people transformation. Yeah. So actually it's a very difficult to do any transformation without the readiness of the people. So FPT, we position ourselves as like a one-stop service for any transformation. So when, before we start the transformation, we do assessment for the digital maturity. So when we see some things is not like uh, qualified, so we can support our customer to catch up with the minimum standard. So that's why uh, it's required to have like uh, business transformation purpose. And the customer have the digital strategy aligned with business transformation. And everyone in the organization have to share that mission. That, that is challenging because in global organizations, that, I mean, I, I know that you did a lot of work in global organizations. Now you have the local organization, usually where headquarters is maybe, but also you need to deploy that globally to all the offices that are uh, from that company. that are not only, um, uh, not, not only in the same location, but also in, in different countries. How, how do you approach that? See, so, I think uh, we need to be very uh, flexible in the way to approach each location. So it means uh, we want to make sure uh, the people in the location understand about the mission. And then, uh, I mean, uh, we need to understand 
So the difficulty. But uh, the good thing is that if you are success with uh, one location, so it means uh, everybody see the benefit uh, of doing the transformation. So they are more eager to participate in the transformation uh, programs. So in our methodologies, names, APT Digital Kaizen, we talk about think big picture, but start very smart. And one success, we scale very fast. So we have methodologies to do. The great thing that I hear also this, this week here in Vietnam and um, the Tech Day event in, here in Hanoi is that when you start with the business transformation, you also set goals, yeah. but not long-term goals. You start with short-term goals, right? Can you elaborate about that? Uh, APD Digital Kaizen, uh, it, we believe the big success not come overnight. It comes from series of small achievements. So that's why in the very first step, we support our customer to divide the long-term goal into series of small milestones. So we, let's say maximum three months, you will see an outcome. And the outcome will help motivate the people to do more transformation or help to engage more people into the programs. For past five years, we grow six times in terms of digital transformation. And nowadays, uh, digital transformation continue, uh, contributes uh, 50% of our, our revenues. So that's why we need to prepare our resources in advance by developing our people in the way of uh, providing digital transformation. So there's uh, many ways. But APD, we have our own universities. So the people already learn how to engage, how to uh, run uh, digital transformation from the time they are in university. And uh, apart from it, so we also have like a several training platform uh, integrated with AI in order to develop our people faster than traditional way. For example, we have APT AI Mentor. So they, uh, it can send some question to you and based on your answer, they will know which level you are and what kind of knowledge of what, what kind of skill you need to develop. And then they will send you the right uh, materials or self-development. Because maybe it's a traditional way you learn like this. So very steady. But in our case, we are very practical, which we, we will provide like uh, the right training at the right times. Many students impressed this week here in Hanoi, Vietnam. Uh, I visited the FPT University camp. Yes. I cannot stop uh, telling how well impressed I am. Thank you. And then I was uh, the campus is uh, the, that I visited has like 20,000 students. Yeah. And I had a chance also separately to talk with the students and the, the enthusiasm, the energy. Yeah. And the appetite for learning was so visible. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's a vibrant community. Why FPP, and I, I, I love this, but why has this excellent approach to education that is not only, I see, for the company, it's also both to the community? So I think the uh, FPT is uh, many times we pioneer to do new business. And whenever we do new business, it's not only for FPT itself, but also for the countries. So that's why, I mean, when we start uh, the service with the digital transformation, we believe we have to develop enough people for Vietnam industry. So everything we start, we, we start with education. And you know, so nowadays, uh, APD not only have APD University, we have the APD education from elementary school to university with more than one, uh, one, uh, 150,000 students in our education system. 
and the way they learn in different in different ways not only at the university level from primary primary school level for example our primary school start learning ai mm -hmm. yeah from so the primary primary school they're learning ai they're learning using ai That's absolutely amazing. I, I would like to, to ask you also about some use cases or examples that of uh, digital transformation that were successful. Uh, what about if you talk about a vendor consolidation and how this is impacting or can impact the uh, agile development uh, or processes in an organization? So I think that, that, that uh, during, uh, after uh, pandemics, uh, during the pandemics, mm -hmm. so people will see the business resilience is a very important enterprise have to run the business in any situation, in any condition. So that's why uh, a lot of customers I mean, uh, set up the program of uh, vendor consolidation. So we have one customer in America, the Cops Automotive. Okay. So they have the program to consolidate from 200 vendor into three. From 200 vendors vendor into three. three. I understand it well. That yeah, okay. 200 vendor into three. This is huge, huge. So, so that I means uh, they, they believe they can have more efficiency and more agility. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, APT is, uh, uh, for the Netherlands, was selected as a champion of the programs. And you know, the, the special thing is, is happened uh, during the COVID times. I mean, the day we signed the contract, just few days before the countries locked down, or many other countries in the world locked down. Locked down because of the pandemic. Because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So and virtual work, hybrid work, remote work. You, did, you conducted all that business transformation remotely remote and everything go online but i think the, the difficulties so uh, requires have to do our work in the more innovation way so that's why i mean the learning platform applying ai's uh, we apply very fast because of the pandemics because otherwise we cannot complete our commitment with the customer so the pandemic was like an accelerator for technological development, but also for learning, for organizations to learn more yes. about how to conduct, I mean, how to have resilience, how to conduct businesses and innovate. Yeah, in, in, our, in, innovate our service. And you know, the, even during the pandemic, we can scale our team from zero to 1,000 people within six months in order to be able to take over work from unread vendor. So how can companies balance the benefits of vendor consolidation with the flexibility required for agile development? I think that nowadays not depend on the number of vendors because for every digital transformation project, uh, we apply the agile methodologies. Mm -hmm. So, for Cox uh, Automotive case, so we run around 150 Scrum team at the same time. And we apply Scale Agile so that they run independently, but in the final still be able to integrate the outcome with each other. And the, what are the skills that and traits that FPT software prioritize? And I know that AI goes to the top when building a, a model workflow. So, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, what the skills and traits are, are the most important? So, I mean, uh, first is the trait, trait of the modern workforce. I mean, they should be young, full energy, mm -hmm. open to learn every day. You know, knows, nowadays, so many things new happen, just happened yesterday. So everything new to us. So the modern work workforce should have the willingness to learn something new or to adapt with the new situation. Mm -hmm. So I believe that Vietnam, we have such kind of uh, characteristics. So Vietnamese, um, our average age, 
the country average age is around 32 and uh, we have a good education in terms of STEM and science so that's a very like uh, fit with the technology's work later on so in terms of the skill of course is a strong technology skill the second is about good communication because when you work in agile models it requires communication this communication here is not about language but about how the human communicate and understand each other so it also requires a little bit like adaptive culture because nowadays you work with multiple culture yeah so you need to be adapt you you, you need to be uh, to be uh, you need to adapt with the local culture and that is a very uh, key factor for the success of FPT software in Japan, in US, in Korea, even in China. I think that, that is what you call the rich global leverage, leverage local approach, right? Yeah. Right, right? Yeah. I think, to, I mean, uh, it's, it's really so interesting talking with you. I mean, what I learned this week in here in Hanoi and in, in Vietnam uh, about the capabilities that uh, Vietnam and FD has, has to offer everywhere yeah. and with tangible experience and tangible results, that's the ones that you mentioned. I, I couldn't be more than, than impressed about it and, and so happy. I would love to have, uh, to, to, to have, uh, to continue talking with you, but we need to wrap up the, the time. I know you had a busy schedule, and but I want to express my gratitude for this week and, and this conversation in particular. My pleasure. And 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 looking forward to continue learning more about FTT. Yeah, I hope that you will come back to Vietnam. So Vietnam is not only is, uh, good in terms of technologies, but also a beautiful countries. So please uh, help the like. Uh, bring the Vietnam image to the world and help bring more people to Vietnam so that they can see how energy is the Vietnamese people, how beauty of Vietnam countries. I, I clearly agree more that the vibrant, the, the, the vibrancy of people and the, and the willingness to and, and so friendly attitude that everybody has Thank and you. I experienced that not only at the hotel, in the media that we have but in the streets and going from one place to the other it's remarkable. Yeah. So definitely, as I say, I'm I'm very very well impressed. And yes, of course, it's it's a, a story to share, and I, I'm I'm looking forward to coming back here to Vietnam. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you.